love family, peace and love. It's your boy Christian Light and coming back again with some more spiritual vittles. And today I'm going in on blowing smoke at your altar. Now this one here, family, a lot of people don't realize that when you transcend over to the next level of existence, all your vices follow you too. You don't just all of a sudden just be like, I don't want anything that I once had on the other side. All your desires, all your cravings, they're enhanced. They're enhanced. So what I do on my altar, I blow smoke at my ancestors sometimes. I have some tobacco on my altar. I don't smoke. I don't smoke blunts. But I know that black and mouths have tobacco in them. So I light it. I pull it in. I hold it in my mouth. And I blow it on the pictures of my ancestors that smoked. I do that twice. It lets them know that I'm here. <clears throat> and it lets them know that I care about what they need and what they want. I got some ancestors that love to drink. So I got some whiskey on my altar. I don't drink, so I don't even let whiskey touch my lips. But I keep it in the shot glass and I either put it on my altar or I put it over their picture. I do that for them. So vices are good on your altar. You know, before I stopped smoking weed, I said weed on my altar. <sighs> I don't smoke weed no more, so I have it in my house to give. But I do have tobacco on my altar. Again, I don't smoke tobacco, but my ancestors did, so I give it to them. If you don't want to put the tobacco in your mouth, that's cool. I understand. I understand. How about you buy some, take the tobacco out of a cigarette and roll it in a tin foil and put it on your altar. Let them feel and taste it. Your ancestors need things and they want things and they have desires. And the best way to feed their desires and prevent them from feeding off of you is by giving them what they want. We're here to serve our ancestors, known and unknown. You know, when I'm at my altar, I give thanks to three different entities and beings. I give thanks to all my ancestors, known and unknown, all my spirit guides, that's what my ancestors too in a way, and I also give love and light and blessings to my deities, and lastly, to all the elements, earth, wind, fire, and water. The elements are, they're not really looked upon or worshipped as much as I feel as if they need to be. They've always been here. We wouldn't be here without them. We wouldn't be here without the earth, the wind, the fire, or water. We need them all. So I also give thanks to them as well when I'm on my altar. I think about them all the time. Sometimes when you're at your altar, you may feel some heat. Give thanks to the fire. Give thanks to the ele element. You may start sweating. Give thanks to that water. You may feel a gush of wind. Give thanks. Okay, family? So vices on your altar is good. Blowing smoke in your altar is great. I don't know if you're a movie buff like I am, but if you look at a bunch of movies and you see them like, doing um, voodoo, hoodoo, or whatever type of spiritual practice they're doing, they may see them take a spick of whiskey or liquor and they, they blow it out to the ancestors. That's still giving, showing love. There's nothing spooky about that. There's nothing spooky about that. I don't spew liquor on my altar because I don't want my altar to get sticky. But if you don't mind having a sticky altar, do what you do what you choose. There's no right or wrong. Your altar is nothing more than a physical representation of your spirituality. When you grow, it grows. Okay? When you have light, it gets light. It's just as simple as that, family. So give it a shot. If you don't like it, don't do it. Try it out. I'm here to give you different alternatives to cultivate your most powerful altar you can have. That's it. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to give you options on things to try that will help cultivate a powerful altar. Because when you have a powerful altar, your altar will assist you in altering your reality, family. Simple as that. So on that note, peace and love, family. Winning!